So some of you saw the video I just posted of what happened in Geneseo. At 9.45, they took the people away to this border patrol station here in Rochester, New York. Actually, it's in the suburb of Irondequoit. And we called for a protest. And we gathered and we had a rapid response. In a city that doesn't protest that much, this is pretty impressive considering these people got a phone call at 10 p.m. Some of them are students from Geneseo who drove up. No fear! No fear! We want people to know. No hate! No fear! Immigrants are welcome here! No hate! No fear! We're not going to put up with this. We're not doing this. So they're definitely in here. They have the five U.S. citizen children. Six minor and two women, no criminal convictions. This is what we spend our tax money on. Why'd you guys come out tonight? To the Arondequoit Border Patrol Office? Why? In detention center? Because they're taking fucking children from their families and detaining them, and that's ridiculous and terrifying and heartbreaking, and I can't fucking believe that. Like, like this can't keep happening. Fuck that. Can't keep happening. I'm just saying, people's families being ripped apart so that corporations can make money off of deportation. No hate, no fear. Immigrants are welcome here. 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 Support people that were have been wrongly taken. Support the family in general, and then anyone who are wrongly. This is our community. I saw on my way to my room an injustice being done. I saw a family that was a student at SUNY Geneseo. I'm a student at SUNY Geneseo. I called up to the, the the police and I asked them what was happening. And they said everything was fine. And the student pulled me over and they told me what actually happened. That a family was going towards a family was going to church. A humble family was going to church and they were stopped for no reason. Okay, that the mom didn't have a license, but why have to make it a big deal and call border patrol? She asked to leave the kids with their legal guardians. They didn't even want to do that either. They just don't want to help out. They want to just take her away. What did you see happen? These are the students supporting the family, and even then, they still kept going. They didn't want to listen to the student. Our voice apparently does not matter. We still came here to show that we actually are trying to fight, and we're not going to give up. We're not going to stop. How long were you outside? Two hours. And then how are you feeling okay? Are you cold? Yeah. I'm a candle helping me out. So kind of me out. And what's your experience as being a student of color on campus at Geneseo? I'm an immigrant. I'm a legal immigrant. I, I brought my residence card just in case they tried to pour me as well. Because they will like they will look for any excuse to take me out. Do so you think the Geneseo police target people of color? I haven't seen it happening, but that they actually has proof because like there was just a family, like a humble family going to church. Why they have to make it a big deal when I stop them? Now it just makes me afraid that like I have to keep and hide that I'm an immigrant. Like I'm an immigrant. I will walk around tomorrow on campus saying I'm an immigrant, so what? Like it's not gonna stop me from graduating and achieving my dreams. That's not gonna happen. And it's so unfair. Yeah. And so, how did you get up to Rochester? My friends drove me. I found out they were coming here. I asked if she could drive me. I have, I have a class tomorrow at 9.30. And I'm, I'm out here. And you're an hour away from school. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your doing. They deserve to be supported. This is not fair. They think they're alone. They're not alone. That's right. They're not alone. 
because they like to take in the, in the face of people and just take advantage of it. They thought she was going to stay quiet and just follow what they say. She's not going to. She has people that support her right now. That's right. She's stronger than she did. Danny, what do you think? What do I think? I think it's ridiculous. Tell me a little bit about what happened today. You know, a little traffic violation can lead to all this, that children, mothers, you know, they get separated, and I think that's just ridiculous. You know? It ruins children's lives. A traumatic event like this just, you know, it's not good for our children. You know, it just it does not make sense. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Danny, you've been really committed to this project to bridge Geneseo students yeah. to the farm workers. Right. You're the root of this protest, right. Jen, right. Danny. <laughs> this you know? would not have happened tonight if you hadn't worked so hard mm. on supporting dairy farm workers in your region as a student. Yeah, you know, I you know, I just want to do what I can. You know, this is a cause that needs to be solved. You know, like this is a problem that needs to be solved. It's been ongoing. You know, it's not new. It's it ha it, just because Trump became president doesn't mean that this is a new a new problem. You know, it's been ongoing. And like, you know, we need law. We need you know, enthusiastic lawmakers. We need people to like stand up and say that this is not okay. You know, like this is just ridiculous. I just yeah, that's all. I have. Thank you, Danny. Yeah. Oh, you're interviewed. As immigrant workers who don't have papers, yet the whole the reality is that they're only here because they're they're being asked to by U.S. farmers, and they bear the heavy burden of of you know severe punishment if they're caught, not the farmers who are effectively allowing them to be here. Mm -hmm. And they're escaping violence in their country that exists because of the war on drugs that the U.S. funds there. This is what um, democracy looks like! And so the, the reality is you've created this underclass this of people who fuel like. your local economy and yet this suffer heavy consequences like. for small infractions that would this impact no one else that, like. to that level. So um, I think that we have to take a real hard look in the mirror and ask ourselves, when we create the situation that you know, we create all the factors that lead to this person being here and then we you know come down so heavy on them you know is that inherently poor leadership in the world that we're creating and with our neighbors you know to the south of us and I, I think the answer is yes mm -hmm. so something has to change yeah for sure um and i know you're part of the geneseo what was the gvcp right uh, yeah. yeah, in the yeah. past, I, uh, I was involved with Peace Action Geneseo yeah. yeah. as well as the, the local right. uh, chapter. Yeah. Are there any other members here that you've got? Uh, I haven't seen any other members here, but I haven't looked around. But uh, certainly this is something. Will you tell me a little bit about what happened today? Sure. Um, well, we went in this afternoon to meet the women and children um, to start our English pilot program. Um, and it was a meeting of minds, of languages, of people. What did you think when you walked into the church? of a dairy farm. What did you think when we drove onto that dairy? So close to Geneseo, right? But like kind of like a far away world. Sure, I thought it looked like a whole different world. You know, it's, you know, the land like stretching out like, yeah, it was very different. You know, walking into the trailer I didn't think it was so different. You know, we're all people, we're all families. Awesome. Yeah. So when you got the phone call that the same people that you met at 3 o'clock to teach English to were being detained by Geneseo police, what were your thoughts? I just sobbed immediately, and I, I had it down right away. It's it's horrible, you know. We all we all have the same hearts, you know. These people. Sorry. Go ahead. I think that the people that were detained have perhaps more heart than the people who detained them. It's not right. If they were, if they were white, would you steal them tonight? If they were white. Would you steal them tonight? If they were white, would you steal them tonight? If they were white, would you steal them tonight? You guys have more questions? If they were white, would you steal them tonight? If mm -hmm. they were white, would you steal them tonight? If they were white, would you steal them tonight? If they were white, would you steal them tonight? If they were white, would you steal them tonight? If they were white, would you steal them tonight? If they were white, would you steal them tonight? If they were white, you wouldn't steal them tonight. If they were 
Why? You wouldn't steal them tonight.